So welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's dark. It's another nighttime coding session. God, it really shows my wrinkles in this light, doesn't it? Thank you very much for stumbling back to the channel. Um, if you haven't been here before, please do consider hitting like and subscribe. That would really help me out. Um, like I said, last time out, I started the car up and um, we had a bit of a lumpy issue. And um, after a while, it started firing. It was like misfiring, all sorts of stuff. I think I potentially got a tune on the DMEs that is um, for like callous downpipes and stuff like that. So what I want to do is um, stick the DMEs back to stock. And from everything that I read, I think the way you do that is you flash them with uh, the next software release, so the iStep. So I've got ESYS on my laptop. Um, I only ever seem to do ESYS when it's pitch black outside and freezing cold. Um, so we're going to jump on there, connect to the car. I've got a document that um, I can run through that's got all the different steps that I have to go through to identify what the I-step is and which one you're going up to, what's available, etc, etc. So we'll run through all that. Um, make sure you've either got a fully charged laptop with plenty of battery life or you've got your power supply for the battery uh, for your laptop plugged in. So one thing you want to make sure you could do is um, get a battery uh, maintainer or charger connected to your um, car so that you've got a constant source of power. You also want to switch the, um, the, the light to the parking lights um, and that will keep the ignition on for longer than 20 minutes otherwise the car potentially might shut off while you're doing this and then you've got all sorts of problems so I'm gonna be fiddling around with stuff to make sure the car thinks I'm still in it and we're active um, I've got a document that goes through all the different steps so we're gonna run through that but the first thing you've got to do is you've got to get ESIS and you've got to get that connected so I'm just gonna fire that up get connected because that takes a little while and then I'm gonna start running through these steps and I'll share it on the screen with you fingers crossed Okay, so it says you've got to connect, so I'm all connected up. So you go into comfort mode, towel calculating, and you read. <coughs> the FA, once that's read the FA, you then save the FA. So we're gonna save this as FA, uh, what is the date today? 06 2021. Activate the FA. So you come up and you right click. Difficult to do this when you can't see the screen. Right click on the FA. Right click on the FA. Activate FA. So the FA is now activated. The next thing we need to do is we need to come down to this side of things and we need to read the SVT. So where's my mouse? Read SVT. And then we save the SVT actual as SVT underscore ist. So that's going to come up. So we're going to go SVT dash A6 dash A2 dash 2021 underscore ist. Ooh, focus. Save that. Okay, we need to create an SVT target. So select complete flash, which is down here. It's already connected for complete flash. Select the I step shipment to match your vehicle shipment. Okay, so now we need to work out what our I step shipment because you see in here the I step target. Oh, and the shipment are the same, and this has not got an F10 20 So we need to work that out. So if we come across and we go to expert mode, and then we go up to VCM, and then we come down here and you're on the master tab and it's got i steps so you click on read so the i step shipment for me is f1109507 so all right so now what we need to do is we need to go back to our not that one comfort mode calculating and this i-step shipment or i-step 
So it's the first one. This is I step shipments. Can I make this come across? So this needs to be the F. So it's 11. Wow, that's really old. Eleven oh nine five oh seven. So I have my shipment and my target. So the shipment is the shipment one, not the current one. The target is whatever it was in there. And then what we've got to do is we've got to do a calculation. So we come down to here and we say calculates. So this is go oh, listen to the rain. What am I doing? Okay, so the um <laughs> the rain's quite loud now. Hope you can hear me. So now that that has actually finally um, generated the, um, the SVT file, what we need to do is we need to save it. And we're going to save that as SVT A6 AT 2021 underscore sol. Now we have to do a TAL calculation. So because we've actually updated that file, we use two SVTs to calculate a SOL. So we come down here and click on calculate. We've generated that file and now we need to save that TAL file. So we click on save and we save that as SVT focus. Focus, focus. SVT dash O six dash O two twenty twenty one underscore tau. Save. Where's my mouse gone? <clears throat> so we've saved the soul. We've saved the towel uh, and we've got the list file. So we go over to expert mode again. Click on expert modes. Go up to towel processing. All right, and now we've got to load some files that we created. So we've just created a towel file. So we come across here, so what we need to do is populate these, so TAL, SVT and FA. So what we want to do is create, over here you click on the little three dots, open file, select the TAL file that we generated, open, that will populate it up there. We're going to create, uh, open the SVT file, so this is the SVT underscore sol svt06021 underscore sol i think sol should have one l no it's two l's that's right open that for the fa what we're going to do is we're going to come across to the side and we are going to say read fa and that's going to then populate the fa this will result in the fa underscore aus underscore VCM XML okay so check the radio button um, so it needs to be read VIN out of FA and then what we do is we click on read VIN on the ECU tab that we've got here right, we want to uncheck all so here's a list of all the ECUs that we've got and the ones that we want to do are the DMEs. So we've got DME, that one, and that. So we've got our two DMEs. Check software availability. So what we need to do is we need to check to make sure that the software is available for it. So up here we click on check software availability. All units, all software units SWE are available. So click OK on that. 
But then the last thing we do is we click on start. And then we cross our fingers, it says in the instructions. Cross your fingers and watch it work. So let's cross our fingers and watch it work. A VCM update after a tile execution is not possible without a proper FA. Please open an FA with appropriate VIN if you want to update the VCM after tilt. Choose a different ECU, so I can't. What does that mean? Alright, I'm going to have to do some digging around. I don't know what this means. Hold on. Okay, so um, that error, if you come into, if you do get an error, if you come into options and go to settings and then go to options again, you want to uncheck update VCM after tile execution and update MSM after tile execution. So I'm going to OK that. I want to come back to here and I am going to cross my fingers and watch it work. Tile execution not successfully finished, G200. So that failed. VCM update is deactivated, VCM will not be updated. Fatal error while executing. Asynchrone program failed. FA must not be null when trying to execute a tile containing coding transactions. FA must not be null. The FA shouldn't be null. So it's complaining that the FA <coughs> shouldn't be null. So I've, on the FA, I've selected the FA that I created earlier. Otherwise, <coughs> after I um, executed this, so I'm going to try again. Let's start. Just thinking about it. So I'm starting to get error messages pop up on the. I'm not going to touch anything while it's doing this. Tile execution successfully finished. Cool, right, so I've um, basically I've finished that and I went back into ISTA and I rechecked everything and I have still only got the one fault which is the uh, air conditioning. Um, so if I do this, display for memory where my mouse has gone. AC compressor, deactivation due to under pressure. So that's fine. So um, refrigerant circuit function check. So I think I just need to check that. So what I want to do is put the laptop down because that has served its purpose. <coughs> Move my seat forward. Break. Let's see if this has any different effects. Ready? Three, two, one. So that feels maybe a little bit better, but it still feels lumpy as hell. So. All right, so that's enough for that. Um, I've managed to flash the DMEs, which is good. It's clearly not fixed all the problems, so we need to go under the bonnet and have a look at stuff. I'm going to check the plugs or check the coils. Um, I'll check over quite a few other things to make sure everything's okay. Um, and then if that still doesn't do it, then there's more investigation we can do. I didn't want to start tearing everything apart if I didn't have to. Um, so we'll see how it plays out. It's all going to be depending on the weather, as you can hear. pissing it down it's freezing cold again and they're talking about more snow landing tomorrow so that's going to be fun thank you very much if you like what you've seen here today please do consider hitting that like and subscribe button if you haven't done already and um, that would help me out tremendously right so that's enough for tonight it's whiskey o'clock it's time to go inside into the dry um thank you very much for watching it's been a pleasure um and i'll see you on the driveway next time stay safe guys